there's my piffy. All right, it's mushroom hunting time. It's pretty amazing. So I thought it would be cool to sing my Kakura song for everybody, even though I'm like a lot of breath from walking around. But it's really lovely and I made it up for the Kokoras around here. Kokura, Kokura, please rise for me. Kokura, Kokura, please rise for me. Kokura, Kokura, please rise for me. Wake from your magical dream. Please rise from your deep, dark sleep. And there's one. <laughs> and actually, as I was walking, I saw this other giant one over here. Look at this beauty. <laughs> so yeah, the Kakura song works. <laughs> They're just also everywhere and I know where they grow, kind of. <laughs> I thought it would make for a cute video. <laughs> All right, kitties, let's get some Kakuras. I'm sure you could hear Mapacho meowing in the background. They like to sing with me. <laughs> You guys like to sing with Mama? Yeah. All right. So here's our Kakura. And I'm going to try to pull it out from the... Okay, so we'll do the first test. The first one is that it needs to peel. See, how... I'm trying to get my... See how it's peeling like that? It needs to peel like that. So that's the first thing. The veil on the top needs to peel and not break off into tiny pieces. Um, so that's check number one. And I actually like to pull these off because they get, they, they get so dirty. We have really dirty mushrooms here. <laughs> We're dirty mountain people and we got dirty mushrooms. So I like to just peel those off. And then I forgot to grab my little knife thing. I've been having a hard time. They're really in there deep because um, the, one of the other um, factors is that it needs to, uh, shoot, I should have brought my knife. So I need to cut this to show you. I'm gonna try my best to pull it out in one piece. It's, I've been really struggling. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. So it's gonna have a semi-pointed um, base like that. It's kinda hard to tell because the, it, the thing is so big, but it is it is somewhat pointed right there. It's not pointy, like super pointy, but it is like somewhat pointed. And I did break off a little bit there. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't it just magnificent? It looks like a tasty hamburger bun. <laughs> they just look so good. So it's got that beautiful skirt. It's got this orange, I mean, this beautiful yellow, uh, creamy, just gorgeous yellow. Okay, so the pointy end, the tear, uh, so the striated edges. See how there's stripes, uh, vertical stripes, all along the edges of the cap? That's the other way to tell. Now you have to have all four of these to be 100% sure that they are a Kokora mushroom, because they are an Amanita and they are a lookalike for the death cap, even though in my opinion, the fall Kokora does not look like a death cap. It is too dark and it just, it has just other qualities that aren't totally like the death cap, but the spring Kokora is yellow like this all the way around and it, it does look like a death cap. So, but I really feel like the fall Kokora is much safer. I actually don't even trust the spring one like that much, but we don't really have much in the way of death caps here, but they're, they're coming, you know, and you can never say like a mushroom doesn't grow somewhere because it can be brought by so many things. So I did not bring my knife. So I'm gonna clumsily try to just break this so you can see the hollows so of the stipe or the stem <laughs> has to be hollow. See that it's hollow there? And that, you know, this is a bad example because it's easier when you cut it, but it is hollow. And there will, sometimes there will be webbing in there, but that's like, okay. But the stipe is hollow. And this one is like, is, this one's pretty fat. Some of them are really hollow, but it is still hollow. So you want to make sure, and you really want to cut it with a knife. <laughs> so it's more obvious. Um, but there, that is, that is how you know. Let me get these. I also have some, um, uh, well, those are all Kokoras, but I've been collecting 
uh, dapper length. And so I just like to like stuff everything back in the hole. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I feel like why not, right? <laughs> so there you go. That's how you identify a Kokora. They have to have all four of those um, qualities. So enjoy. They're an amazing gourmet mushroom. They, there's a little bit of a trick to um, cooking them. You, you want to, they're very big and thick and moist. So you really want to make sure that you cook them very slow and, um, and you know, just very low and slow. That is the tempo. <laughs> so, all right. Have fun mushroom hunting.